circuit pulp requires in-depth knowledge of the fiber properties and how they affect the products into which they are made. Refining is a key process in paper making. An important link between both pulp and paper, between Mercer and our customers. We focus on this process in our fiber center. At its core is a fully automated laboratory refiner. Our research and trial activities focus on projects with customers. We work closely with universities and research institutes while supporting our mills in quality control. With the help of the laboratory refiner, we simulate the industrial refining process. To prepare for the experiments, we enter the target value for the specific edge load, the numbers of samples required, and the respective values of the net specific refining energy at which the samples are to be refined automatically. Soaking, pulping, and swelling time can be adjusted individually. After a short circulation to equalize the pulp, the no-load power with pulp is measured and a zero sample is taken. The refining gap then closes until the required refining power is reached. Up to six samples can be taken. At the end of the experiment, the emptying and rinse program starts. Now the main work in the laboratory begins, namely the formation of the laboratory sheets. The optical and physical properties of these sheets are later tested. The drainage resistance is determined according to Shopper Riegler or Canadian standard freeness if required. We also examine the fiber morphological properties and measure the water retention value as part of our standard evaluation. The water retention value provides information about the water stored in the fiber structure and thus the swelling capacity of a fiber. For this purpose, the sample is centrifuged and then the remaining amount of water is determined. For certain tests, only slushing of the pulp is required. For small quantities below 70 grams, the standard disintegrator is sufficient. For larger quantities, up to 2 kilograms, we use a pulper that can be operated in both the low and medium consistency range up to 12%. Depending on the project, we also use our dynamic sheet former, where we can adjust the MDCD ratio as well as the base's weight. The influences of refining and fiber blends can thus be investigated more realistically. The laboratory sheets are air-conditioned for at least 24 hours at standard conditions before evaluation. The sheets are cut into different specimen sizes, the different sizes dependent on the test. Typical strength values are breaking length and tear resistance, according to Elmendorf. It is interesting to compare such properties with the sheet porosity, as this decreases with increasing refining due to the compaction of the sheet. In addition to these physical properties, papermakers are interested in optical characteristics such as brightness and opacity. We perform a number of other standard tests for evaluating sheet properties. A very interesting measurement, called the wet zero span test, can only be performed by a few laboratories. This is to evaluate the tensile strength of the single fiber. The experimental data is compiled in a report and the results are discussed amongst the team. With the Fiber Center, Mercer is strengthening its strategic collaboration with customers, universities and other partners. Our technology team supports paper manufacturers in optimally treating and using fibers in their manufacturing process.